I'd like to read to you from Esther chapter 4, verse 16. Go, gather all the Jews to be found in Susa, and hold a fast on my behalf, and do not eat or drink for three days, night or day. I and my young women will fast as you do, and then I will go to the king, though it's against the law. And if I perish, I perish. She'd been in incredible turmoil for days. She'd recently discovered some news. The people of Israel, her native people, her own people, her family, um, had been put at incredible risk. An evil man in the Persian Empire named Haman had threatened to exterminate the entire people group um, of the Hebrews. He, through political cunning, managed to set up a situation where he acquired the king's permission to ethnically cleanse away the Jewish people who were living in Persia in that day. And this woman, with that reality dawn on her and realizing the fact that all the people who she loved most dearly were about to be annihilated, was suddenly cast into a, a really challenging situation. Ironically, her cousin had initially cousin's name was Mordecai. Her cousin had initially encouraged her when she became queen to hide her faith and to deny the reality of who she was and where, he'd come, where she'd come from. But now he had completely turned course and told her that she needs to come clean and come out and identify with her people because he had realized that the only hope for them was if she would step in before the king. She did have some leverage in this situation. She was married to the ruler who had sanctioned this entire program of violence that had been planned against the Hebrew people. However, he was an incredibly volatile man and she knew that if she went into him, uh, into before him, it would be an unlawful act. She couldn't go in uncalled for. And yet she knew that she was the only hope for the people of God. This wasn't easy for her though. She felt overwhelmed by the stakes and so she she played the only card that she knew to play. The only means by which God's people could respond to the situation. And she called Mordecai and all of the Hebrew people to fast night and day, rich and poor, young and old, to fast and seek the Lord even as she would. The stakes were high and they needed to do everything they could to see the Lord respond to the situation. Now we might be tempted in the church, in the West, to think that God's people are not at so great a risk as they were in the days of Esther. To be honest, that'd be naive though. It's a difficult time in the life of the people of God. Things are at an incredibly dangerous situation for, for God's people. And so we need to take Esther's admonition and her encouragement to heart. We too need to fast. We need to seek the Lord. It's for just such a time as this that He's placed us where we are. So let's do that together. Let's fast. Let's pray. Let's seek the Lord in this day.